Right, Sean, Katie, Katie, Sean. Katie, House of the Dragon. Mm-hmm. Done something quite unique. Season two, yeah. Two trailers. Mm-hmm. A black trailer and a green trailer. <sighs> this is going to be an, it's going to be another trailer reaction where I am talking about someone saying a name and I'm getting the name wrong. Because it's all Aeruses and Veneruses and Anuses yeah. and whatevers. There is, there is an Anus. <laughs> I watched a clip not that long ago of George, um, of George R. Martin. He was like, you're always told in writing to like not give characters the same first letter of the name. So it doesn't get confusing. So he just gave everyone. So he was just like, I'm just going to flip that around and just make this the hardest thing to understand ever. Because yeah. everyone's called the same thing. Yeah. In this show already, there's two Aegon, there's two Aegons and there's two Viserys. Yeah, but albeit his... one one Viserys is dead now, but still. Oh yeah, yeah. The king. Yeah, I know. In his, but in his defence, when you look at most of history, especially European history, mm, everyone is called the same every thing, king yeah. and queen is called the same thing. Mm-hmm. There's about three yeah. million Richards. There's about you know, <laughs> eight Jameses, Johns and Henrys and Charles George and Philippes. And... You know, there's tons of them, so it's actually quite realistic. Yeah. I don't like all the variations. Aegon, you know, and Ares, and Anus, Viserys. I like names like Jaehaerys that are unique. Different. Um, but, you know, enough of enough of name-calling. This is, The first one we're going to watch is the Black Trailer, so this is Rhaenyra, yeah. Damon. What side... We both we both agreed we were black side, didn't we? From the first season. From the first season, yeah. 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 Because we know how it goes, yeah. and I feel like our opinions might change. Uh-huh. But so far, we're team black. Yeah. We'll stay with the second season. We will we probably. I have to say, we'll probably end up like the rest of Westeros, where we we'll, just like we'll find ourselves not liking Rhaenyra because Rhaenyra does become almost yeah. the bad guy. But the thing is, though, and we have talked about it a lot. We have to say it again: is that the books aren't meant to be 100% accurate because mm-hmm. they're not written in first person they're written from the perspective of maesters and you have to think Arch-Mester that Gildane. they're probably like mushroom and stuff who aren't really like reliable sources so mm-hmm. m- maybe like it's going to be different the first season already had a lot, quite a few differences so maybe maybe our opinion of Rhaenyra might not change yeah but she, she definitely changes yeah, oh, yeah I mean you know yeah, so this is this is the black trailer playing now. <laughs> oh, which dragon was that? Caraxes. That's Caraxes, yeah. It's got dragons as well. Why are all the dragons I've got X's and Z's in them? Alicent's son sits my throne. I mean to fight this war and win it. Oh, see things. Is there dragons on our shoulders? The realm will soon tear itself apart. If men do not remember the oath sworn to King Viserys <gasps> and to his rightful heir. <gasps> the high powers are marching. You must crush this beast at its head. Oh, isn't it there simple. a bit? Renounce the false king and bend the knee to the queen. Or your house burns. Oh, oh who's he talking to? God! Oh, there's Billy's dragon. The burn takes hold and reason is forgotten. You will not even remember what began mm. the war in the first place. We fight for our queen! Do you feel what I've begun? Oh, God. Well, that was sexy. <laughs> that whole trailer was sexy, wasn't it? Oh my word! So let's. What is happening? Let's get something out the way first. This is blood and cheese, isn't it? This is the after. What do you think? This is blood and cheese, or do you think this is Viserys's official funeral? Because he hasn't had a funeral yet. Oh, that's true. It's just this with. Could be either. It's just with Alison sat there, and mm. oh my God, what's her name again? Helena. Helena sat there. I feel like Helena, because from the book, she goes like hysterical. Yeah, she goes a bit you mad. Know, as she should. Yeah. Um, so I don't know, that just seems a bit. She seems a bit calm. It's still her children. 
No. It doesn't feel. I th- I think it's blood and cheese. That's a very small. When did, thing. When's blood and cheese meant? Very early on. Is that like see like episode one, two, three? I, don't, mm, I would say early on. Blood and cheese happens really early in the war. Mm. After because after um, was it Lucerus? After Lucerus dies, Damon. Mm-hmm. I think he probably quickly. says that to her like, when he's telling her, doesn't he? Yeah, it's just, like it does happen quickly. That's why the war gets so aggressive so quickly. It's because essentially the first casualties in the war the are kids. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's horrible. If you think Lucerus' death was bad, like just blood and cheese. I wonder how much yeah, it's so, going to show us. So, spoiler what alert. I'm for. Quick thing spoiler alert in case you, you haven't read the book or you don't know what to expect so blood and cheese let's quickly explain what blood yeah. and cheese is blood and cheese is um damon and renera send some assassins to kill uh helena's two children um which has three children. three children yeah two boys um, and a girl but the initial task is to kill one of the children mm. isn't it it was a son for a son wasn't it yeah blood for blood a son for a son son for a son so they go in and what they do is they go to helena capture her and her children and they tell her to pick a son yeah. To die. She picks the youngest. She picks the youngest and then it's they, like he won't remember, he doesn't, you know. And then they kill the oldest. Yeah. And they kind of taunt the younger, like yeah. she wanted you she to wanted die. She wanted you to die. Yeah. You know, that's what she thinks of you. And, and it's not very nice. No. Um, Basically her then just goes she insane. Goes a bit crazy. As as Rightfully know, most so. people would. Yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't end well for her, bless her. No. And then as you can imagine, the war really, really yeah. kicks off. It's yeah. Because that's that's the thing that started the war for the blacks was Lucerus dying. That's when Rhaenyra said, right, okay, the hell with you. You killed my son. You know, mm-hmm. this is it now. I'm coming for you. Damon in his armor, looking <laughs> glorious. That's what it is. Tell me you're a Targaryen without telling me you're a Targaryen. Or your house burns. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, that's... that's just Targaryen through and through, really, isn't it? Yeah, just burn your house to the ground. Neil yeah, he is or on Caraxi, so yeah. yeah. Got some Stark. We didn't say much. They're really teasing us with this Stark business. So that's Baylor's dragon. Oh, what's her dragon called? It's a ridiculous name. Moon Dancer. Moon Dancer. Yeah. Caraxes, Melee's, Vagar, Beleriand, Moon Dancer. The interesting thing is, is what because we talked about this in the last one, is what she's doing. Mhm. Because. It's oh, there's this. There's, there's the stuff. north. Yeah, is that a wall? Might be, you know, the wall. Uh, They're all, uh, they are in black. Maybe, good for you. And the Stark side with Rhaenyra. Rhaenyra, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, they become like friends. Jaceris and uh, Torrin. Torrin, Torrin sounds Stark. Right. Sounds right. That's, a, that's another one where there's a million of them. I think it's Torrin Stark. Eddard and Brandon because, and yeah, Torrin and Vickon. Like, yeah, they're close in age and then they grow like a friendship. And they, yeah, they help out massively with the war. Is that her dragon? Cyrax. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Looks oh, a bit small there. Yeah. Yeah, so, um. Uh. I just want more of him. If there's one thing that the first series really made me like think is that Matt Smith was born to play Damon. <laughs> he is awesome. And again, he was another one of those people when he was cast, people were like, "Oh, I don't know how." Yeah. How's he gonna be like doing this? And then he, he stole the bloody show. And he was just incredible. No, he didn't. He came second place in the show. Paddy Constantine. Paddy Constantine was, was yeah. the stealer of the show. Um, but it's still one of my. I have to watch it sometimes. I I, I watch it monthly. The sort of the sort of just remind yourself the the dinner scene where Vaman where Aemond starts the fight with Lyceris and Jaceris mm. and he just sort of stands up and goes and then look, turns around and looks at Aemond's like Alright, I'm not ready. I'm not, I'm not ready for you. It's like just relax, kid, okay? Yeah. You might be a bad boy, Aemon, but you're not Damon. <laughs> just remember that sunshine. Aemon and Damon, I mean, God. Yeah. We got some we got some drama coming in that rivalry, folks. So who was that? Is that Westerling? Is that was that his name? The commander of the King's Guard. Mm, I don't think it is because I think there was another. Doesn't he have a beard? Baldman, yeah. Because I'm sure Westerling he does join Rhaenyra. Yeah. Well, 
the King's Guard that are already there. There's the guy who's got the sort of shortish brown hair. Yeah. And there's the twin, isn't there, who there's brought the crown? There's, an, there's three of them. I'm sure he actually has three because Damon tells two of them you either Benanita Rhaenyra mm-hmm. and you serve her, but if you betray her, you'll die screaming. If right, so one of them yeah. was the short brown haired bloke yeah. I'm thinking of. I think one of them, I think that's him was the other one. I think he was right. baldish. And, the, and, the, and then one of the, the twins. twins. Yeah. yeah. Because he sneaks away with the crown, doesn't he? Yeah. Look at her dragon shoulders. <laughs> that's awesome. Good for her. Damon's just like, yep. Yeah. That's my wife. That's just <laughs> that's just his permanent state, that isn't it? Even when he's fighting, he's just kind of haphazardly leaning against something. Mm. It's like you know, I don't even care. I can't be bothered with all this. Yeah. It's like I don't want to talk politics. I want to talk swords. Yeah, shooting swords. someone in the face. The north. What are you looking for? Look at the you details. <laughs> high tower. There's the high towers. Looking at a dragon. Probably mm-hmm. his impending doom. Impending you doom. are doomed, sir. So. Vega. Is that, is that Vega? Is it? No, that's Cyrax, oh, sorry. Cyrax. I'm getting ahead of myself. There's another shot of Vega. You do see Vega, though, yeah. It's Eamond looking menacing. Where is he? Big mural on the wall, it looks like, of a castle. If you can tell me what that is, I'll be very impressed. Tower. It might be um, the veil. The veil? Mm. I just named a part of them. Mm. But the veil joins Venera. I know. I just named a part. I was thinking maybe it might be Storm's End. They might go back to Storm's End, or he might. Well, they side with. Um, they side with the High the Queens, Yeah. Mm. He was bloody brilliant in the first mm. series as well. I love that so many British people. Showing just how bloody good that I've never fully got their chance. Despite mm. Reese Evans being a, I don't know if he's an Oscar winner or an Oscar nominee for his amazing portrayal of um, Spike in Notting Hill. Um, it's, it's, it always seems like there's a few actors who don't get big chances. Paddy Constantine, mm. I'm so glad he got a chance because he was brilliant. Matt Smith was brilliant. He was brilliant. All the people playing um, the younger versions of them were, were really good. Um, What's her name? Millie Alcott was brilliant. Mm-hmm. I don't know the name of the last who played young Alison, but she was really good. But that's only because I fancied Millie Alcott, you know what I mean. Um, so there's Carly's. Mm. The Valarian fleet. Oh, he's wearing, go back. He's wearing the Hand of the King pin. Hand oh, of the Queen, sorry, yeah. I should say. Yeah, don't be blasphemous. Sorry. Though. Is it blasphemous? Treacherous. Yeah. She's got a wedding bangle. That's a dragon there, isn't it? Where? Is that not a dragon? What is it? Is it? If you no. play it, is it, is it a dragon? Terms are very- no, maybe not. I thought that was some fool trying to go fight a dragon. I was like... <laughs> well, is that not... That's Damon, isn't it? That's Dark yeah. Sister. I thought it just looked... The shadow looked a bit like a dragon. Is it Dark Sister? It dark was sister. Dark Sister, doesn't it? Yeah. Is still. this... Is it? I don't think it is. Is it Harren Hall? Um, I mean, it might. They fight over Harren Hall quite a bit, don't they? It's Harren Hall where him and Eamond come I first. I don't first. think they do Harren Hall this early. Oh, it'll not be, uh, it'll not be early on. But the, th- the other thing about this is we don't know how many series of House of the Dragon there's going to be. Isn't the. Me- well, this isn't. There's not going to be 10 episodes of this, is there? I don't know. I think there's only going to be 8. I think the strikes kind of messed it up. But I'm sure there was something about five seasons. George R. R. Martin writing Five? Five or four. Five? That doesn't seem right. Maybe four. Dance of the Dragons doesn't go on for that long. I know, but there's a lot of content. And you've got to think how many... If there's going to be five seasons, then I don't understand why they would rush to Viserys' death in the first series. Is that like kickstarts the whole thing? Yeah, I know, but... You skip over like there was large chunks of time that were gone in that first series, mm-hmm. and obviously they Maybe were trying to get to the dance. I, I don't, I can't, I, I couldn't see it being that Maybe long. Maybe four. It might just be four. I, I'm sure there was it was a few though. It's not just going to be like two or three. Terms are very simple. Well, well, Damon and Eamon happens right near the end. Yeah. The other major death, obviously, that happens at the beginning of. The dance is um, 
again, spoiler alert, is uh, what's her name? Rennie's. Rennie's. She dies quite. Early I think on. she'll die. Um, very soon in this. She gets killed by Eamon, doesn't she? And Vagar. Well, she fights Eamon and Vagar and Aegon and Sunfire. Sunfire. Yeah. Does well though. She damn near kills the. Sun. Well, she sun, cripples. Cripples Sunfire cripples, and cripples. damn nearly kills Eamon. She does some damage to him as well. Yeah. So who is he bludgeoning there? There's Josh. There's your shot of Vega. That's Dragonstone, isn't it? What's it? Is that Damon returning to Dragonstone? Or is that Kingsguard armor? Can't that's tell not him. Kingsguard armor, that's Damon's armor. That's, yeah, that's Damon, isn't it? Yeah. But normally you can see his hair. I'm looking for his hair. I've tucked it away. That's a twin, one of the twins. Are they fighting the other twin? No, I don't think so. Who would he be fighting? One of the blood and cheesemen. Maybe. Maybe. I'm pretty sure don't they die quite... They don't die very early. Mm. Again, spoiler alert, in case you didn't know, the twins who were on the King's Guard eventually end up killing each other in a duel. Yeah. It's quite sad, it's quite awesome, it's quite heroic. Because they're both, like, neither of them are, are wrong, really, are they? No, no. They both kind of have the same morals, just in different people. The people that are wrong in this in this whole instance is the Targaryens and the High Towers. Mm. Like, all of this could have been avoided if yeah. they just stopped plotting against each other. Really, it could have been avoided if they just married Daenerys to Helena. Yeah. Think about it. Yeah. Or even if, like, it would have been horrible, but, like, Rhaenyra to Aegon. Mm. You know, there was, there was a lot of chances that could have saved it but they were just too reluctant that's Caraxes mm -hmm. I think the dragons look awesome yeah so let's watch uh, the, the green trailer this one's a bit longer playing now Over. I'm as fearsome as any of them. You have no idea the sacrifices that were made to put you on that throne. My uncle is a challenge I won't come If he dares face me. <laughs> we will prevail and bring forth peace. No. But you must accept that the path to victory now is one of violence. Oh dear. Good. To war then. Ugh, oh, arrogant mong. All my life I've endeavoured to serve both my house and the realm. And somehow none of it matters. Hold to your courage for the one true king, Aegon! Oh, my. oh is that... Sea smoke? Mm. Or was that um, dream fire? I have no idea. Dream fire? Was that, was that Helena's dragon? You know who it hasn't shown you here? It Show, shows you. Uh, we've seen Corleys, we've seen Rainies, you know, we've seen quite a few dragons. I haven't seen Laris Clubfoot. Because he's quite a big part of this. Is that. Sunfire? No. Sunfire is supposed to be the most Gold. beautiful of all the dragons. Gold. Gold, yeah. Golden Wind. 
because then he gets his wings torn to pieces. Uh, what's what's the latest dragon called? It's Dreamfire, isn't it? Something like that. Dreamfire sounds right because she's married to Aegon and she's all dreamy and stuff. I'm sure, it's she's Dreamfire. a bit crazy, isn't she? I am now convinced that that scene where uh, that particular scene there, I don't think that's about Viserys. I think it's about one of the kids. Less. Because as much as she might have loved Viserys, I don't think she would be going through the streets crying like that. I think it's one of the kids that's died. Mm. Oh well, it's been murdered. I guess it would be like a way to turn King's Landing against Rhaenyra as well, wouldn't it? Which does happen. Yeah. King's Landing does sharp turn against her. It's a Baratheon. Yeah, it's Jaceris. Is that Jaceris? Is that? Or is that not? No, maybe I not. I don't think so. No. Although the cloak, you know. But then who are these people? Servants. I don't know. Oh dear. Yeah, it's not looking good. I like I, I think people are gonna like the fact that he's he's he almost seems happy that they're going to war. Mm -hmm. People know what's gonna happen to him. He's he's not gonna be in it. Yeah. He might win the war. Spoiler alert. But he doesn't get to enjoy it for very long. No. And he is in quite a large amount of pain at the end of it. He gets melted a bit. <sighs> yep. For those that I don't know. Gets, Again, spoiler alert. Gets half his body melted. Then he basically gets to the point where he can't even walk. He has mm -hmm. to be carried everywhere and he dies in his, in his litter, doesn't he? Because there's a theory that he's assassinated. I'm sure he dies in his litter. I can't. Are those towers burned down? Is that King... Is that Harren Hall? Because that looks burned down. Is it Harren Hall or is it... Storm's End? It might be Storm's End. The gloominess kind of looks like Storm's End, doesn't it? Mm. But it's kind of implying that Damon's there. Doesn't Aaron Hall swap hands a few times? Because mm. I'm pretty sure Damon takes it, and yeah. Damon leaves and goes to take somewhere else where he meets Nettles. Mm -hmm. um, he spends that time away from Aaron Hall, so then I think Eamon takes Aaron Hall, and he basically makes that his seat, doesn't he? And it's like toward the end of the war where he sends out the challenge to Damon, who arrives to fight him. You know who we haven't seen yet is the other Hightower, Alison's other son. She has four children. Which one? What's he called? I can't remember his name. Eris. No. Ends in Eris. No. What's he called? She's got another son, and he's off in. He's in Old Town, and he has yeah. a dragon, and he comes and. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen him yet. Who's that? Damon? Is it? It's armor, yeah. That doesn't look like Damon's hair. It's, I mean, his hair grows out. That's definitely Damon. Yeah, I know his hair that, grows that, out. The, the shoulder blade pads things are the same as what we saw in the black trailer. Hmm. So a dragon is flying ahead. Where is that? Is that King's Landing? Yeah. Because that's the Red Keep, isn't it? Yeah. So a dragon's flying about. Which dragon? I don't know. Well, she takes King's Landing quite early on, doesn't she? Rhaenyra. Yeah, I don't think she'll do that now. Though. She takes King's Landing quite early on, but because the war goes on for so long, the crowd, the people start to really dislike her. Yeah. Well, she doesn't really do much, Rhaenyra. That's part of the reason why people, again, people don't really like her because she kind of just sends people off to do a yeah. fighting for her. Yeah. Well, it's viewed that Aegon is riding off to fight and mm. Aemond is flying, fighting yeah. Daemon's Daemon fighting is. All the, um, Rhaenyra is not yeah. all of the, what they call the dragon seeds are all fighting mm -hmm. you haven't seen any of them either yet no. um, hold on I like this quote the good of they wish now not for the good of the realm but for the satisfaction of vengeance I like that well, I actually think it's said. it's so unique and it's so interesting that they've done two trailers, one's from Rhaenyra's point of view and one's from the High Towers point of view, in that Rhaenyra's doing what she's doing.
because she was chosen to be the heir. Yeah. And while vengeance obviously does play a part, it's not the main part. And from her it's, point of view, yeah. the High Towers are conspiring against her and always have yeah. been. But here in this trailer, we see that this lot of like, they don't care about who's the heir, they don't care yeah. about the people, all they care about is getting some vengeance. Mm-hmm. When, you know, in their point of view, especially Alison's, she always, that same way she had, where Viserys was dying in the bed, it was kind of like, that shows why she did what she did because she thinks she she, be- she believes that he wanted Alison, Aegon on the Alison is a servant basically and she, she's always served yeah and that's what she says here it's like she served her husband she served her dad she served a house I couldn't like uh, the realm she's all, she's just trapped serving and that's what she yeah. she was upholding Viserys' last wish is what she thought she was doing yeah uh, so that's Cyrax yeah where is she going though Kings what are they doing? London, maybe. Gold clocks. Is that blood and chains? Oh, it might be. Or is that maybe Damon? Because the, Damon keeps Damon. The gold clocks a, are very loyal to Damon. Yeah. Yep. Maybe that's because he gives money. He, he continuously gives money to the gold clocks. That's why they stay so loyal to them. Whereas they kind of neglected under um, the high tower. And he also turned them into oh, an actual, actual force, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. So it could be Damon. I think it's probably more blood and cheese. I think it's blood and cheese. It might be like, oh, Damon sent us. Call no. me, call me um, silly, but that does not look like the hand of a man who has been to war several, several, I say several hundred times, but has killed a lot of people. The amount that Damon has, I think that's an assassin's hand. Yeah. Wearing the cloak, he's wearing the, the assassin garb. Yeah. Apple and cheese. I keep on seeing things. And I'm like, is that blood and cheese? I think. I shouldn't be looking. F- I'm not looking forward to it, but I shouldn't be picking that up. So I much. think blood and cheese will be the first episode. Oh my god, that'd be so hard to watch. That's such a an episode to start people, with. People are gonna. I, th- I actually think people will be really mad at Blood and Cheese. I, th- I think they will as well, but I th- really do. At the end of the day, what, what's gonna? It's not gonna make a difference, is it? I mean, it's, yeah, people this, were angry at the Red Wedding. This isn't a light-hearted show. No. But when you think about the first season, though, it started off with Emma. Yeah being cut open and uh-huh. killed and then the baby died and mm-hmm. it, that was very intense I th- yeah I feel like that's always been the point with George Martin's works is that he he constantly goes you know it might take a little thing but these little things have big repercussions and like Eamond being childish and not fully accepting that as was Sarah said they don't control the dragons yeah cost the life of Lacerus which is now because Rhaenyra was holding back, she was she was she didn't, wasn't yeah, she interested didn't, she didn't in want to go to starting war. war. But it was killing Lacerys, and it was Aemon's his idiocy and his not even a, his his hunt for vengeance as well that 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 has caused all this, really, isn't it? I know this is very, it's very hip- hypocritical. I think from the Greens so are like they're just after vengeance. Where it's like, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what that's what Aemon was doing, and Alicent as well in that episode yeah. where they were at. Um, Mm-hmm. Uh, was it Sea Mark, Sea Drift? What's it called? Carly's is. Um, Drift Mark. Drift Mark, that's the one. Um, yeah. Just, the thing is, it's just. just um, I'm dead excited. I think yeah. it's going to be awesome. What's it called? What's the High Tower called, the Dad? Otto. Otto High Tower. He's the one that started this. Yeah. Really, isn't he? He's he's the the puppeteer. Doing essentially what Damon warned for yeah. Sarah about in one of the first he, episodes. He chucked the pebble down the hill and it's caused this avalanche and mm-hmm. he ends up it's a good because, analogy. Oh, thank you. People um people are kind of arguing in the last trailer reaction because I said about how Otto is kind of not out for blood. The point that I was making is it's not that he doesn't want any of this to happen, it's the fact that he he doesn't want that to be a war. Yeah. He doesn't like the fact all these people are dying. Yeah. In the books he kind of tries to stop Aegon from just going to war with Rhaenyra. He he still wants to try and find a way to stop all these people dying. Mm-hmm. Which ultimately is why Aegon um stops him being hand of the king. He dismisses him. Um so yeah it's kind of it's gonna be interesting to see that. Mm. Maybe he's you might see him start to regret it. Not re- not regret so much the fact that Aegon is king, but maybe regretting what's happening because of what he started. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm, interesting. And the thing is, with the blood and cheese as well, 
people might say, you know. It's his helmet with a crown on. Is that the crown or is that just uh, like a. I think it's a. Just, it's it's an imitation, isn't yeah. it? Um, oh, you fool. Because is it not this armor that gets melted onto him? Mm. Um. Thing is, people might say, "Well, blood and cheese as well. It's gonna be, it's gonna upset a lot of people." But it's like, I mean, I don't know what you think you signed on for. Yeah, this is the dance friends. of the dragon. This is essentially what kills the Targaryens off. Is is this? It's of, yeah, it's one of the most brutal times in in this history. Of it's, course, it's, it's gonna, them at their height. Yeah, going down to being. Next I just, yeah, and I just casualties yeah. everywhere. When I say upset, I mean I think people are gonna be angry that that that, that they've shown kids getting hurt. It's yeah, it's just I mean it's just a part of the show. Yeah, it's gonna be hard, but it's the fact that at this point Aegon, because if it does happen early on, he doesn't even look upset. No. I just you know what I, I mean? just play what he says. Not against the king, and I will pay it back a hundred times over. Yeah, that bit. It kind of... It's interesting, isn't it, that uh, in, in the first season he, he had an episode where he basically said he didn't want to be king. Mm -hmm. And now here he is giving it the big end, saying that, yeah. saying about oh, off to war then, as if it's just a because game. He, yeah, he is king now, and he's been fed so many lies. Mm -hmm. Like, Alison in particular, like, you know... I don't know. I don't know, that, that Viserys wanted him to be king, and then there was his... Um, that one's not a lie. That one's just a misunderstanding. Yeah. Um... And then there was his, um, this where he became king, and people were cheering for him. It's like, well, a lot of people want me to be king. So. Yeah, that adulation's got to yeah. his head, hasn't it? Yeah, I don't think we've seen Sunfire there. I don't think Sunfire's been seen there because is that not that Sunfire? That might be Sunfire. Because in the in the book, it describes Sunfire as being the most beautiful, the most beautiful of, of all. I think that dragons. is because the the head doesn't look like a dragon that we've seen yet. And it's supposed to be golden. Yeah, that's what that was like. They fixed the floor of the of the dragon pit remarkably quick. Mm -hmm. Unless this is a different part of the dragon pit. Yeah, possibly. It is rather large. Yes. Having dinner with her mother. Seems a bit depressed there, mind. Yeah. He's probably just putting a brave face. You know? He's oh, probably like, oh, I need to look. To get, he's going to have to get used to doing that. I need to look like I'm, you know, wanting this. Ugh. My uncle is a challenge I want. If he dares face me. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful what you wish for, sunshine. Saying that in the safety of your keep mm -hmm. when he's not there. Doesn't he get made hand of the king? Doesn't Eamon get made hand of the king? Or Kristen gets made hand Kristen of the king? Kristen gets made hand of the king. Because he's very bloodthirsty. He's just mm -hmm. like... He he's just willing to kill everyone and he do fights, whatever. He fights quite a few battles with Kristen. Yeah. Petty. Petty man. Oh, you fool. About to go get your face melted off. But it's going to be interesting to see how they do that then. Because people assume that Aegon dies. When he gets um, after they kill Rhaenys, mm -hmm. people um, assume that Aegon dies, and it's not till right near the end of the war when Rhaenys was captured by the Greens that they realise it's actually him that's been doing it. Because they say a dragon on um, where is it? Is a Dragonstone? When Rhaenys moves to King's Land, and there's a dragon that gets seen around um, Dragonstone. And they don't know what dragon it is. They think it's one of the wild dragons, but it's actually Sunfire. Mm. Because he can't fly very far. Yeah. If at all. And Vagar. That's gonna be a sad episode. If it's in this in this series. If it's not, it might be it's gonna be a sad episode seeing Vagar and Caraxes die. I know. That's like it's gonna be an epic fight. I don't think that's gonna be now. I think that's gonna be. I don't be think. I don't think it will on. be an epic fight. Do you think? No, it's got an. It's got a, a ridiculously epic ending. Hmm. Where he runs and stabs him through the eye. Jumps, jumps mm -hmm. from one dragon onto the other. Spoiler alert. Yeah. Again. That's that's how the fight between him yeah. and then. Uh, 
but Damon it's, goes. it's cool that Craxy's managed to, to take down Vega. I know Vega is older and was injured slower. and slower and injured after the fight with um, Renice and Millie's and Millie's, yeah, but. And it's still it's rainy, and it's yeah, rainy, it's rainy, it's rainy, yeah. But it's still it's still impressive that. It does it. Well, it I to think kill in the book it, it sort of explains it as sort of Vegar's older. She's sustained quite a lot of damage. She's not quite used to the warfare as much as, obviously she is because she was there during the conquest. Yeah. But Melee's as um, not Melee's uh, Caraxes has fought. A lot of wars mm. recently, and is younger and is younger, faster, and it's it's, and also, an, it's a more unorthodox worm, uh, unorthodox worm. worm. Uh, it's a more unorthodox dragon than other dragons yeah. that she's used to. But also the quality of the rider. Damon's mm-hmm. more experienced, yeah. whereas Damon isn't. And it's what is it? It's, what is it? It says it says something like the bodies aren't found. The bodies are never found. Mm. So people think that Damon just left the field and went away with nettles. Went to find nettles. nettles, but I would quite yeah. like it to be left open. Yeah, I would like it if 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 they do do that fight, and to have them not find, find Damon or Eamon's bodies. Obviously, I mean they're obviously going to find Vagar's body. They're obviously going to find, you know, Caraxes's body. Mm. It would be nice if they don't find Damon and Eamon's body. Yeah. Yeah. For well, those for those of you who don't know, during the fight, uh, Damon. Unstraps himself from Caraxes and jumps from his dragon on uh, Vega and stabs Eamon through his other eye. Mm-hmm. I think it's safe to say that Eamon is definitely dead. Oh, Eamon's but dead. But the one people always theorised over was Damon. Damon, yeah. Which I'd be very impressed if Damon managed to survive because they were in the sky and he But if, if, anyone's, if anyone's going to survive, it's going to be yeah, Damon. He's pretty terribly mangled, but yeah. And Nettles just kind of flies off with Sheep Stealer and is never really seen it, again. Because he tells her to. Because when he was. Renee was lost by yeah. that point. Yeah. She's seeing conspiracies everywhere. Everyone mm. turning against her. And she's lost a lot. Yeah. All of her children. All of her Except children. Except for two. But she doesn't know that they're alive. No, she knows. Yeah, because they watch, don't they? They watch when she dies. Aegon does. Viserys. Is sent across the sea, isn't he? He, 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 yeah, he um, flies off with with this dragon, isn't he? I thought he was sent. Is he, oh, is, sent? He not, is he just sent away? He's sent away because he comes back later on, doesn't he? Bearing gifts from the east. From, yeah, from the east. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because Aegon never recovers after seeing that. No, and he becomes very um, pensive. He's not regarded as a very good king. Viserys, on the other hand, does. Yep. Yes, he is because obviously for those of again for those of you that don't know, Aegon becomes the king, but because um, Aegon the younger, Rhaenyra's the, son, Rhaenyra's son. No, I mean immediately following the uh, Dance of the Dragons. So Aegon, the bad guy for the green, yeah. wins become yeah. what well, doesn't become the king, but is essentially the the undisputed the king. king. Then when but, he dies, yeah. Aegon the younger, Rhaenyra's son, becomes the king, but because obviously. All of this has been going on around him. His brothers have died. His, his sisters have died. Does he have sisters? His brothers died. Um, uh, oh yeah, well, he's got he's got step sisters. But sisters. they don't they don't die. They don't die. Um, all the dragons, all the wars, everything. Seeing his mother get eaten by eaten by sunfire is obviously very damaging. He becomes a very pensive king, but his brother Viserys, Viserys, who is sent across the sea to the east. Eventually comes back to become hand of the king, uh, with gifts, spices, and 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 stuff. Stuff, and he's married as well, isn't he? Is he married when he comes back? No. He is. He's. I'm sure he's. He's already married because people don't like his wife. She thinks they think she's a sorcerer or something. I thought he married a Valarian. Or was that Egon that married the Valarian? Because Viserys, one of Viserys, isn't Viserys's son. Aegon the Unworthy. I can't remember. You know, I've read Fire and Blood four or five times. It's because of all the names. It's the names, I know. <laughs> I'm sure Viserys comes back with an Essos wife. And King's Landon initially don't like her because they think she's a sorceress. Or I might be thinking of a different king. Maybe there. it's Aegon that marries the Valyrian. Might be. Yeah, because 
Corley's does Corley's does does turn sides at one point. Mm. Doesn't really turn sides, is it? He's given a choice and he turns. And he helps. Doesn't die until much after the mm -hmm. the dance. Um, but yeah, that's basically what happens. Viserys comes. Eventually, uh, Aegon the Younger dies. Just you know, he doesn't particularly eat. Doesn't he? Doesn't do anything. He doesn't like reading, riding, anything. Yeah. Doesn't like food. Doesn't like spending time with people except Viserys. And eventually, he dies, and Viserys becomes the king. That's that's mm -hmm. yeah. That's the the end of the dance in a but nutshell. The, the story is basically that Rhaenyra loses the war, but her. Her bloodline. Her bloodline continues and is actually the bloodline. Which is strange when you think about it because her bloodline is technically the Green's bloodline as well. Yeah, but it's like directly through From her. her. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Her children. Yeah. Um, either way, I think it's going to be awesome. Yeah. I just wonder how much we're going to say. I think, conf obviously, with no blood and cheese. That's going to happen on you. Rainey's is going to die. I think. Maybe about midway. I'm going to I'm yeah. gonna hit think maybe mid with Depends on the person, but yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, I think there's going to be at least two battles yep. in this. Two major battles. Yep. Well, I think those two battles, I think Kristen's going to win one mm -hmm. quite convincingly and I think Damon is going to take Harren Hall because they do happen quite early on. Mm -hmm. What else? Aegon is obviously going to be mangled. Mangled. Mm. Sunfire and Sunfire's gonna get really injured. Yeah. yeah. Um what else? What else? I think we're gonna see the the dragon seeds are gonna get mm -hmm. the dragons. Yeah. Which would be cool. Yep. Because um we'll get to see all the dragons. Yeah, I would like to see some of the wild dragons. Mm. I wanna see a bit more of them. Mm -hmm. Cannibal, sheep stealer. I wanna see the cannibal. Because the cannibal is this is the mysterious one that you know, everyone's like people think he's actually older than what Valerion was. And yeah, that's one. Of, that's one of the theories is that people yeah. think he's older. <laughs> <clears throat> he's older than Valerion and also bigger than Valerion. Yeah, which would be impressive because Valerion was friggin' massive. And he's just an old black dragon with green eyes, and mm. it'll, it'll be interesting to see. Because don't they have happens. like they have like a trial? Don't they? They invite people. They'll say people will get like a thousand golden stags or whatever they're called to whoever can tame the cannibal and he just eats I think I think they just invite it's, it's just Ceres he just invites everyone that believes that they're a Targaryen or have Targaryen blood to Dragonstone yeah because there's two is that what you're talking about the dragon seeds dragon seeds that's what they're called there's yeah. two what are they called because it's, a, it's a, a supposed um, it's a Valerian bastard that tames sea smoke which was um, Leonor's dragon. Leonor's dragon. Nettles is um, sheep stealer. Grey Ghost, I don't believe, gets a rider. Grey Ghost is the one that um, Sunfire kills, isn't it? Just, just randomly. One of them rides Vermithor, doesn't? Though, don't they? One of um, what's he called? Hull. Is it Hull? Something like that. Rides Vermithor. Um, because ultimately, they fight for. Rhaenyra, but they take they take, the, it's that town I can never remember the town's name they get sacked and sacked and sacked until it's just completely destroyed and part of it is because the dragon seeds go there mm. but they switch sides at one point yeah yeah, yeah. Um, I'm sure it's, is it not the whole brothers? is it not two of them? might be, but they turn on each other as well don't they? I'm sure two of them that go to this town turn on Maybe. each other as well I know one of them rides Vermithor, and Vermithor is the second largest. Because he, he's the one that instigates it, because he says he's riding Vermithor, you know, the old king's mm. dragon. Be interesting to see if Vermithor. No one, no one rides the cannibal. No. No one can turn. No the one cannibal, can turn the cannibal. Which is awesome. Um, but just be interesting to see all of the dragons, because even the other, Alison's other son has a dragon. I can't remember his name. What's his name? The what I will say about that is though they have to they've already done it in a sense but there wasn't tons of dragons in the first season they have to try and distinguish they have to be noticed make it yeah make it if, easy yeah. to figure out which dragon is so which so if are going to have loads of dragon fights we need to be able to tell obviously Vagar is yeah. obvious it's hard enough when they've all got ridiculous X's and E's and S's names but 
and they're not when I say ridiculous I mean ridiculously awesome because they all have awesome yeah, names but they all some of them sound very similar yeah Melee's, Caraxes, Cyrax you know I mean for goodness sake come on um, Vermithor really cool. Vermithor is a really God, cool I would name. love to ride Vermithor everyone always says Beleriand's the dragon ride I would love to ride Vermithor that's a cool dragon that's also one of my favourite scenes Matt Smith has an awesome singing voice <laughs> and hearing him singing uh, Valyrian to Vermithor mm. is awesome did you yeah, see all of Vermithor and it was cool it was yeah. like, oh, continue your list my list? Yep. the dragons you said you wanted to see all the dragons I would like to see some wear and tear on Rhaenyra what do you mean? and that sounds that, that doesn't sound very nice when I say it like that but it makes a point in the book of saying that when she gets toward the end of the dance you can see that mentally and physically she's just been worn Women down just, yeah. she, she goes from being a very she beautiful woman it. to being sort of haggard and yeah. she puts on loads of weight and well there's there's a reason why she gets referred to as Megal with boobs yeah. putting it nicely because yeah. it's not quite that same and she also, she also kills children well yes um, yeah so she's meant to really just she lose gets, it she gets I mean understandably so yeah it's it's not a nice thing that happens to her during this war yeah. all, all, pretty much all of her children die mm-hmm. you know she's already lost one child she thinks that her husband's left her this this man who yeah. she spent all these years essentially flirting with the idea of marrying she thinks is cheating on her her dragon does Cyrax die? Cyrax dies doesn't doesn't cheat Cyrax he? gets killed during um in, in the dragon pit, I'm sure. Because Cyrax doesn't die. There's a revolt, the, isn't there? Pe- the people. The people take kill the, dragon the dragons. Pit. That's right. Yeah. The people, people kill the dragons. Oh. It's gonna be horrible. I don't want to watch that. I don't want to watch that more than because watching blood and cheese. I know that Joffrey tries to ride Cyrax, and that's how he dies. Cyrax throws him off because obviously Rhaenyra is still alive, and yeah, he can't. It's gonna be more painful for me watching the dragons die than. That'll be hard. Than blood and cheese. Cause, yeah, because I'm sure a Dreamfire, Cyrax, Morning, who's um, Rhaena's dragon, dies in the dragon pit. There's at least three or four. Cyrax lasts the longest, but because they block off yeah. the way to get out. Well, the land is the main thing. That the dragons land in the dragon pit, and obviously they're not going to dragons are better off flying than yeah. on the ground you know so I think they just overwhelm them and yeah they can't get out it's going to be hard to watch mm. I think that'll be a bit later on cause that's oh that'll be right at the end that's right that'll toward be, the end yeah. isn't it um, right at the end but it'll be, it'll be hard I'm excited mm. I'm excited I think it's going to be yeah. awesome how many dragons are there? a lot so let's see if we can name all the dragons so you name the big players first so it's Vega Vega Cyrax Caraxes Millies. Vermithor. Vermithor. Um, Name the tamed ones. So then there's Sunfire, Dreamfire. Sunfire, Dreamfire. Uh, Morning. Morning's S- very young. I don't think Morning's here at this point. Sea Moon Dancer. Sm- Moon Dancer. Sea, sea Smoke, Smoke, technically. Because if Lenor's still alive, then yeah. technically he's still tamed. Then there's the other. The other Sun's Dragon. I don't know his name. I don't remember either of the names. There's another dragon. Um. Then there's Sheep Stealer, Grey Ghost, the Cannibal. Um, <laughs> the worst thing is, is that Damon names them all. He names them all in one of the last episodes of the, of the first series. Because doesn't he say there's like, we have nine to their four the v- or something? Via Max, Arax, and Tyraxes. Yeah, those are all little ones. Well, Arax dies with Lucerus. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was Lucerus' yeah, dragon. They're all, they're all little um, ones. I've lost count. There's a lot. Is my point that I'm making this a lot of dragons? Yeah. I don't even know if I've got all the, the wild dragons. Well, the wild dragons are Sea Smoke, Grey Gore, Sheep Stealer, Cannibal. The Vermithor. The Vermithor is not a wild dragon, Vermithor but he's just an untamed wild. dragon. He's, yeah, he's untamed. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Grey Gore doesn't get a rider. Because they don't. Grey Ghost is a shy one that you don't really see. Grey much Ghost of. is the one that dies. Yeah, because Grey Ghost dies early on. The Sunfire kills. Sunfire kills him. Just out for no reason. Because people initially think that it's the cannibal that kills it on Dragonstone, mm-hmm. but it's actually Sunfire. Yeah. I wonder if we're gonna see cannibal like. 
kill him? I want to see. I want to see an episode where people come and try and claim the cannibal. Because mm. a lot of a lot of them. Actually, that doesn't die. make sense because the cannibal wouldn't sit around to be tamed. I think you might just see people go into the, um, the caves and and where cannibal is said to be, and they just don't come back. Mm. Just never to be seen again. Yeah. Either way, this is going to be all because we've been talking about this for fifty minutes now. I need to just. What is the name of that sun and this dragon? It's going to bug the life out of me. I know it. I know. I know it. But I don't. It's like t. Is it a t? Are you on about Alison's son? Alison's other son. Yeah, she has four kids. Children. Is it Tyrion? Daron. Daron. What's his dragon? Tell me. What's his dragon? Daron Targaryen Alicent Dragon. I feel like it's but I also don't. Tessarion. Oh. He rode the she dragon Tessarion. So, okay. I got there in the end. You were close. I said Tessarion. You said Tessarion. Yeah. I would say Tessarion. Bit, Whatever. Either way, you know what I mean. Oh, it's purple. Look, it's purple. Mm. That'll be interesting. I wonder if he's gonna be in this. Dear. They've never really mentioned him, so it's gonna be interesting. Yeah. Never really been talked about. Yeah, but that was so us talking. There's a lot of dragons. That was us talking about. Is that? I don't care if there's a lot of dragons as long as they're distinguishable. Hmm. Because it'll be easy for us. That yeah. Because like if we see Aegon riding a dragon, we'll, we'll obviously yeah. be able to go. Well, that's some Ob- fire, obviously. Yeah. But if we're going to see two dragons fighting, yeah, we have to know which dragon is which. Because it's the obvious ones where it's like Vagar fighting, um, Melis. Yeah. It's going to be obvious because of the size and mm. you know, they they look different. But if the, there's two dragons that are the same size, look similar in the fight, and it's just going to be like. That was kind of the issue with Game of Thrones, I thought. Is there ever going to be a point where that'll take place? What? Two dragons of a similar size. The cannibal and grey ghost, maybe. But no, the cannibal would be much bigger than grey ghost. What do you mean? Like, is there ever going to be a point where two dragons who are the, roughly the same size are fighting each other? Because when you think about all the dragon fights that take place... Sunfire Def- and Grey Ghost, maybe. Do Vermithor and Vega are a fight? I know they're not the same size, but... It's I don't think so. No. Maybe when the d- dragon seeds are fighting each other, that might be. But even then, Vermithor will be bigger than... Yeah, but there's other dragon seeds. Then... I don't know. I don't really Because know. V- v- obviously, Vega is going to be distinguishable quite easily. It just depends on how big the dragons are. Some The, the wild dragons, you'd think, would be bigger than some of the tame dragons because the tame dragons have been the dragon pit, whereas the wild dragons haven't. Not all of them. Not all of them? Cannot, no, no, I mean, like not all the wild ones, because some of them are still quite young. Grey Ghost yeah. and Sheepstealer aren't that old. The Cannibal's old. Vermithor is obviously old. He's not technically wild. What are the wild ones called again? Grey Ghost, the Cannibal. Grey Ghost, Cannibal, Sheepstealer. Sheep Is there only three? Grey Ghost, Sheepstealer, the Cannibal. Damon says how many dragons are on Dragonstone. I'm going to have to watch this whole season again now. <laughs> I'm going to watch like the whole a... season now. I'm going to be sat reading by Fire and Blood as well. I need to just make a list of the dragons. Yeah. I might have to go and into, the riders. I might have to go into the, into the second season with a list of the dragons and the, the colours and the riders. Yeah. Because the colours... The issue with Game of Thrones for me was the three dragons. You couldn't really tell. Specifically with um, Rhaegar and um, Viserion, you couldn't really tell which was which. Yeah, Drogon was the easy Drogon one, was the obvious one. But those two you could never really tell. With this, I want it to be like obvious. that They're depicted as being like green or like... Um, golden, like golden and you know purple. Torn, torn and, wings. Yeah, and it's like, I want to see the coloration. What's Melee's called? She's called the Red Queen or something. Mm-hmm. Something like that, yeah. And then Damon's called the Blood Worm. Blood Worm. That's awesome. So we'll end it with this, right? Which dragon would you most want to ride? And I'll make it I'll make it harder. That are alive at this point. That are alive at this point? So you can't say Beleriand. You know I'd probably say Melise. Experienced. 
big, fast. Handy in a fight. Handy. She does well considering the size difference between Add two on one as well. Yeah. Probably Millie's. Mm. I would say Vermithor. Vermithor's cool. Just big though. I might be a little bit slower. But also, part of that is because. Just cool. Interestingly enough, one of my favorite kings in Fire and Blood is Jaehaerys. Mm. Like. You would think, you would think with people that all the ones that fight loads of wars and battles and stuff would be the favourites, yeah. but I really like a, a king who could stay on the throne for a long time. That's why Henry VII is one of my favourite kings. English kings. Mm. Um, yeah. But yeah, let us know what you think down in the comments. Tell us some stuff that you think is going to happen. Some stuff that... Um, hold on, go back. Show that shot of King's Landon. Um. You know, this just grinds right on my gears. You know, that's what King's Landing looked like in seasons 1 to 4 of Game of Thrones. Do you remember what it looked like in season 8, where it was just in the middle of a desert for just some reason? barren land. Somehow managed to... Look how great it looks. It's a typical thing of, it looks picturesque there, but in the streets, you know, there's, there's crime, the gold clocks are butchering, they're cutting people's knackers and hands and heads off, you know... I don't even know how to explain what I'm trying to explain. It's you don't really see King's Landing like this until no, no. the last season, do you? You see it at the beginning, but then in the last season you see it. But I don't, when, Do you the see it like this? The last season when Daenerys is burning it. No, that's what I mean. You like, see like the, the whole of the of the city, but what else? It do doesn't look like that, though. No, but like you don't actually see, actually see many shots after the first few seasons like where you see the whole city. No, yeah, right. Yeah. You know? No, and I just I like how picturesque it is, considering that this is a very blood soaked city. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let us know some stuff that you think will happen when you think it'll happen. Um, some things you'd like to see in this series. I think that might be great. Ghost. Is someone riding it? Looks like that's why I thought it might be sea smoke because of the colour. Uh, maybe. Um, let us know what you think will happen. Um, it's not very big. I want to see the dragons. I think that's sea smoke, either sea smoke or dream fire. But the f this man here looked like the man that Rhaenyra was walking beside, mm -hmm. which was going towards Cyrax. I think this is um, sea smoke. Right. Uh, yeah. So let us know some stuff you think will happen. What would you like to see? Um, whose side are you on? Are you team black or team green? Um, and like the video, subscribe, ding the bell to be notified when we upload. We upload every day. Anything else you want to say? That's Cyrax. That one. Uh, <sighs> I don't think I'm ready. See, Sunfire doesn't look that big there. No, Sunfire's not that old. I'm pretty sure, isn't Aegon Sunfire's first only rider? Uh, yeah. Because he, he dies. Yeah, but I mean, there was no rider before Aegon. No, no, no. I'm no, pretty sure no. I saw it. It is a young he's dragon. A, yeah, he's, he's Aegon's dragon, yeah. Yeah, uh, you're not ready. I'm not ready, no. I think people should prepare themselves because House of the Dragon is going to be more brutal than I would say arguably most of Game of Thrones. Yeah. I think if, if the season starts off with Blood and Chase, it's going to be very intense. Mm-hmm. I think, um, you know, when you think about Game of Thrones, the most brutal parts of it are obviously the Red Wedding. Mm. Ned Stark's death isn't all that brutal. It's just the sort of shock it's of sad and, the main yeah. character dying. Um, the Red Wedding, Oberyn obviously dying. The Purple Wedding. Mm. Um, I think, yeah, the thing is with else? Game of Thrones, though, it, it, fo it followed like a, a formula, didn't it? It was like you got to season episode 9, sorry. The where like the big thing happened, and then the and then episode ten was when it was like setting up the fallout. Yeah. yeah, until it got to the point where it was doing like seven episodes and eight episodes or whatever. Yeah, yeah. they sort of um, they tried to continue it through to the later seasons, but it didn't work. Like yeah. season five was when um, the Daenerys gets spurted off by the. That was Marine, wasn't it? Where Drogon saved her in Marine, was that? Oh, it might have been, yeah. But like, then there's things like the Battle of the Bastards and 
Yeah. You know, and they were all okay, but I don't think many of them quite got to the same level as the Red Wedding. Mm. I think the Red Wedding is still probably the most brutal thing that happens in yeah. Game of Thrones. That's, that's and I think this is going to top it by quite a bit. But I feel like House of the Dragon has kind of not really followed that. No, no. Because, like I say, the first episode of the first season was Emma being cut open and given birth. Brutalised during childbirth, and then Rhaenyra when she was given birth. Mm. Um, oh god, I'm not ready for more of that. It was just, it was very graphic. Yeah, there was, there was. It didn't really feel like it, the shocking moments were just all over. Yeah, and it was like, oof. this is going to be the same. I think. I think this is going to be more brutal than Game of Thrones. Imagine if the first episode is Blood and Chase. That's going to be a, a, like a hell of a way at war for the season. Well, that's the thing. In the book, after Lucerus is killed, Blood and Chase happens, happens quickly. very quickly because it's like Rhaenyra's completely grief stri- grief stricken, and Damon says a son for a son, and he, he, you know, it happens very quickly. Damon doesn't mess around. Nope, he's very impulsive. Yeah, and it's yeah because Lucerus is still in the north. Isn't he? So it's, it's very quickly after. Because doesn't the body of um, Lucerus's dragon washes up on? Is it not just like it's dragon like stone? The, isn't it? Is it not just like the head? Something washes something. up. It's. I don't think they ever actually find Lucerus's body. No, but they don't find Lucerus. No, no. I'm but, sure it's just like the head or something of of Arax, because. Um, Boris Baratheon sends it to Rhaenyra, doesn't he? Not as like to be horrible, but kind of like respectful. Yeah, like yeah. this has happened, and you know, because mm-hmm. he did was it was like you know he tried to stop it. Well, he didn't stop it, but he was kind of like not in my hole. Yeah, I just said not my hole. Get outside, kids, if you're gonna yeah. mess around. Instead of being like this could potentially start a war, you leave, go, you stay for a little while. Mm. But then again, they are royal. Yeah, Royally. he also does have Vega, which you know he probably doesn't want to mess with Vega. Not yeah. so much Arax because Arax is tiny, but you know. Yeah. But, yeah. Have I already said that? Yeah. Thank you for watching. I need to know.